Hello friend, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. And we are now in Acts chapter 11, which is exciting because we're going to just continue the journey of Peter and Cornelius. Uh, this podcast is bought, brought to you by you. Thank you so much. The Patreon backers are what keeps, uh, it's basically the backbone of this podcast and keeping it going. Helps pay for William to do his amazing engineering skills and for Kristen to help with some social media stuff. So thank you so much for that. If you'd like to be a part, you can go to patreon.com slash pray every day. And um, there are different levels. At the $10 level, you'll get a free painting. Usually these are later featured in my Etsy shop, so it's absolutely a cool deal. And at the 25, you get a free podcast. So anyway, thanks again for those who are sponsoring. I give you a big cyber hug for helping the podcast and for being a part of this ministry, because that's really what it means to be a patron is to be um, participating in the reach of this ministry, praying for people all over the world. So thank you. All right. So we are now in chapter 11, verses 1 through the first part of verse 18 in the voice translation. This is what it says. By the time Peter and his friends from Joppa returned to Jerusalem, news about outsiders accepting God's message had already spread to the Lord's emissaries and believers there. Some of the circumcised believers didn't welcome Peter with joy, but with criticism. The circumcised believer said, Why did you violate divine law by associating with outsiders and sitting at the table with them for a meal? This is an outrage. Peter patiently told them what had happened, laying out in detail the whole story. Peter said, I was in Joppa. I was praying and I fell into a trance and my vision, something like a huge sheet descended from the sky as if it were being lowered by its four corners. It landed right in front of me. It was full of all kinds of four-footed creatures that we would all call unclean. I could identify mammals, snakes, lizards, and birds. Then I heard a voice say, get up, Peter, kill these creatures and eat them. Of course, I replied, no way, Lord, not a single bite of forbidden non-kosher food has ever touched my lips. But then the voice spoke from heaven a second time, if God makes something clean, you must not call it dirty or forbidden. This whole drama was repeated three times, and then it was all pulled back up into the sky. At that very second, three men arrived at the house where I was staying. They had come to me from Caesarea. The Holy Spirit told me I should go with them, that I shouldn't make any distinction between them as Gentiles and us as Jews. These six brothers from Joppa came with me, and yes, we entered the man's home, even though he was an outsider. The outsider told us the story of how he had seen a heavenly messenger standing in his house who said, Send to Joppa and bring back Simon, also called Peter and he will give you a message that will rescue both you and your household. Then I began to speak, and as I did, the Holy Spirit fell upon them. It was exactly as it had been done with us at the beginning. Then I remembered what Jesus had said to us, John ritually cleansed people with water through baptism, but you will be washed with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift we were given when we believed in the Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, who was I to stand in God's way? There was no argument, only silence. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, I love that you're a God of story, and I learn so much through story, and I just thank you for the fact that in Scripture this story is repeated because we see the conflict going on in the church of people saying, you know what, I want to be able to say who's out and who's in. Um, And this violates my uh, idea of who's an outsider and who's an insider. And so Peter patiently and kindly explained the whole thing, and there was no argument after that. And so, Lord, I just thank you for that welcoming, this grand entrance that we have into your kingdom. And we choose now to just look back on that moment in our lives where we experienced the joy of you when we first met you. I look back on that time at Camp Timberlake in Washington State hearing your gospel and being such a broken person. And so, you know, a 15 year old who is suicidal and broken and uh, suffered from so many things, lots of nosebleeds and panic and um, just feeling completely alone and unworthy. And I heard this gospel of yours that I was wanted I was died for and sacrificed for 
sacrificed for and I was welcomed. And Lord, that's, those are powerful things. And boy, did I feel like an outsider. Boy, did I feel like a foolish person. Boy, did I feel like one who didn't belong. But you welcomed me as one who did. And so, Lord Jesus, help us to rest in that today. We are wanted. We are loved. We are taken care of. And um, we have been ushered into your kingdom. And of course, as I pray all that, I pray for our loved ones. As I've been doing the past couple days, just pray you would bring them to you. Um, It would... It would just really bless us, Lord, to see our family members and friends come to know you. Thank you again for the gospel, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a huge blessing. Now, you might not know this, and some of you do, because you've been with me from the beginning. Uh, But we have a free app. It's a Pray Every Day app. It's on um, iTunes and also on Google Play. And it it has 365, 66 for the leap year, uh, devotionals on it. So if you want to not only... um, be able just to listen to this podcast on a very convenient app. You can do that, but you also have something that you can read every day to encourage you. So absolutely free. I hope it blesses you.